Good evening, good evening, and welcome, welcome. Happy, happy Wednesday. Feliz miércoles. You know, we officially finished his uh, Hispanic Heritage Month yesterday, so, you know, we threw that little Spanish, you know, saying happy Wednesday in Espanol. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. Please relax, you know, enjoy the ride with us this evening. And, you know, we're going to go through a great topic that we're very proud of because, you know, you were a credit union, so people over profit. The Credit Union Difference. My name is Eddie Villanueva, and I'm the members, Member Engagement Specialist here at the United States Santa Federal Credit Union with the Marketing Department. So please just relax, get some food, get some, you know, coffee, water, whatever it is, maybe some tea as well. And please relax and learn something new with us this evening. And I see very familiar names and some names that I haven't seen before. So welcome, welcome, everybody. If it's, this is your first time, Please be ready for a lot of surprises this evening. And this, if you have been here before, thank you for supporting us once again, because, you know, without your support, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you very much. And uh, we hope that you appreciate the graphics and the content. You know, that's something that our department creates. There's a specific person that does this, but we're not going to go into introductions yet. I don't want to take Milton's spotlight yet. But like I say, thank you again. Hopefully you're watching with a friend, with the family, you know, make sure that you tell them about these amazing webinars. We need your support. You know, we want to make sure that we always have, you know, great attendance. And then these are for free, you know, and this is for you to learn something new. Uh, you as the attendee learn something new, but also us as the panelists will learn something new as well. And throughout the presentation, throughout the evening, uh, if you have any questions, please make sure that you send it to us using that, you know, chat feature or the Q&A feature. It can be related to the topic that we're talking about, or if it is something, nothing related to the topic, but it is related to the credit union, please send us your questions. We love when you, you know, pick our brains and you get us thinking like, hmm, what, we, what is the answer for that? And that's the reason we have, you know, great experts in the panel's list team, you know, that have all this experience, you know. So please, please make sure that you send all of your questions. 602, Milton, please take it away with the introduction, sir. All right, Eddie. Thank you so much for um, uh, for being our MC, as always. We really appreciate that energy that you bring to us and uh, and all, obviously to all of our members. And again, as Eddie alluded to, uh, we are extremely grateful that you are, you are giving, us the, uh, giving us the opportunity to come in and, and, and then be in front of you every Wednesday at 6 p.m. So we are very uh, glad and, uh, and thankful for, for, for it. Um, and as you can see, today's presentation is an exciting one. Uh, it's people over profits, the credit union difference, the reason why, um, you know, why we do what we do. Um, we're going to tell you all about it. So, uh, and most important, um, if you were with us last week, you probably remember we, uh, we made a promise. Uh, and the promise is that we actually have a very special surprise towards the end of this presentation. Uh, we actually are going to be giving away... Um, $100 to a lucky winner. So somebody in, 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 that is in attendance today will walk away with $100 uh, at the end of this presentation. So again, um, if you still, uh, if you have any friends or anyone that, that, that registered but hasn't logged in, uh, send them a text, let them know that we are about to start. Um, and most important, we, we are giving $100 uh, to, to a lucky winner at the end of, at the end of that presentation. And as, uh, oh, as Eddie alluded to as well, uh, it is our commitment that we will answer any questions. So we do encourage you to uh, submit any questions use, either using the chat or the Q&A feature. Um, and, uh, and we will answer the, those questions. And once we finish with those questions, once we answer every question that's on the, on the chat or the Q&A, um, then we will go ahead and, um, and, and pass it on to our beautiful and lovely uh, Carrie Lazar, who is our content creator, so the person that in charge of, of putting together all, the, all this graphic, all the content that you see here, um, she will take over, uh, take over and get everyone in the wheel. We'll spin it, and uh, as I stated, somebody's going to walk away with a hundred dollars uh, this evening. So we are really excited to have you on board um, uh, today. And with that being said, going down the order of the panelists, um, uh, you already heard, heard his voice, uh, Mr. Eddie Villanueva from the uh, uh, marketing department. Along with Eddie, uh, we have Andrea, uh, who is also going to be keeping track of the chat and the Q&A. So again, we want to make it uh, as, in, as engaging as possible. 
Um, and so don't be shy. Submit your questions. Submit your comments. Um, we love to read, read, read your feedback as well, too. Everything is welcome. And, um, and then again, we will answer any questions that you have towards the end of the presentation. Um, and once, once all of that is done, then, uh, then we'll, 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 we'll spin the wheel, uh, the wheel and, um, and, and call out on one lucky winner. Um, and with that being said, the person in charge of uh, leading this presentation this evening is none other than my right hand um, from our membership development department, uh, our very own Kim Friendly. So Kim, go ahead and take it away from us. Thank you so much, Milton, and welcome to this week's Wednesday webinar, People Over Profit, the Credit Union Difference. We are so um, excited that you have joined us this evening um, for this webinar. We are excited to have you here as we are going to be celebrating. We are celebrating two very important milestones. First, this year, 2024 in October, marks our 89th anniversary. Um, we are uh, so proud of the journey that we've taken since way back in 1935 for nearly nine decades. Um, we've been you know, dedicated to serving our members, helping them achieve their financial goals, um, with personalized service, we truly value our members, you know, financial education and a community focused approach. And then secondly, we're also celebrating International Credit Union Day. This is how it all got started. Uh, it recognizes credit unions all around the world. Um, this day is especially meaningful because it reflects the global philosophy of the credit union mission of people helping people. You know, it's a core principle that our credit union li truly lives by each and every day. So throughout this webinar, we're going to discuss what makes our credit Credit union and credit unions all around the world different from traditional financial institutions. And there is a big difference in how we continue to put our members first. We always put our members first. We're going to explore what makes credit unions special and how we at USSFCU are committed to helping you succeed financially. So let's get started with International Credit Union Day. Bear with me just a second. All right. So um, tomorrow is actually International Credit Union Day, October 17th, uh, 2024. It actually marks the 76th anniversary of International Credit Union Day. And this annual celebration has been held every third Thursday of October get this, since 1948, um, offering credit unions an opportunity to reflect on their achievements and to raise awareness about their unique role in the financial world. Uh, so tomorrow, more than 80,000 credit unions and cooperative financial institutions around the globe will work to bring financial inclusion to over 403 million members across 98 countries. I really wish we had like, I don't know, music playing and a big celebration um, song, you know, because that's a truly remarkable reach. Uh, it shows the global impact of credit unions and we really have impacted the financial world for years. Uh, credit unions have always been grounded in our principles of cooperation, community, and financial inclusion. Uh, we were founded, credit unions were founded on the idea that people could pull their resources together to achieve financial security. And isn't that what we all uh, want? That is our goal. So unlike traditional banks, credit unions are not for profit organizations that actually reinvest any profits back into their members through better rates, lower fees, and enhanced services. So the actual mission, the philosophy of people helping people has been the backbone of our industry, of our mission. And as we celebrate International Credit Union Day, we join with millions worldwide who recognize and cherish the credit union difference. Very exciting. So we wanted to give you a brief history of credit unions. Credit unions in the United States have a very rich 
history dating all the way back really over a century, rooted in a mission of providing fair and accessible financial services. This journey actually began back in the early 1900s in 1908-09 with the opening of St. Mary's Cooperative Credit Association in Manchester, New Hampshire. Anybody on the line on this webinar from New Hampshire, especially Manchester, you have a lot to celebrate. Very first credit union. Um, they were the first credit U United States credit union. Um, it was founded to give everyone a fair shot at credit setting um, the foundation for the credit union movement that we know today. So in the 1930s, the Great Depression emphasized the importance of accessible loans leading to the Federal Credit Union Act. That was signed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1934. The Federal Credit Union Act allowing for federal credit unions across the country. Um, this act promoted thrift and provided accessible credit through nonprofit cooperative credit unions. Then around the 50s, 60s, credit unions expanded rapidly. They grew exponentially, reaching new communities, serving industries that traditional banks often overlooked. Um, and serving industries, um, finally in the 1970s, regulatory support took a really big step forward. The creation of the National Credit Union Administration, uh, you probably heard it, NCUA, pro providing oversight and insured deposits, ensuring that credit union um, members were uh, insured and remain secure and member focused, which here at our credit union, we are always about um, that member focus. And thanks to the NCUA members funds are protected uh, up to $250,000 per account, uh, depending on whether you have a joint member, beneficiaries, they can always be insured for more. Um, and, you know, just wanted to make sure that, that our members, that members of credit unions could feel uh, that they could trust to their credit union and where they kept um, the majority of their money. So moving forward, um, for more than 100 years, credit unions have provided financial services to their members um, in the United States. Um, so for over a century, you know, credit unions have played really an essential role in providing services to Americans. Today, uh, credit unions and uh, the impact that credit unions are making, it truly is impressive. Uh, credit unions serve, these are really cool numbers. Credit unions serve over 140 million members nationwide, managing assets totaling more than $2 trillion. And these institutions aren't just financial entities. They're founded on the principle of cooperation, community, and member-centric values. So as we reflect tonight on the impressive growth and secure foundation of credit union, it's really essential to understand what truly sets them apart from tr traditional banks. This is one of my favorite parts and absolutely my, my passion because there is a difference. Um, so here we have a very clear comparison between credit unions and bank, um, highlighting some fundamental differences. You know, credit unions, I've already said, I'm going to say it again, uh, probably not even the last time, are, are not for profit organizations, meaning that credit unions still exist solely to benefit their members rather than to generate profits. Uh, this structure actually allows profits to be returned back to you, back to the members through things like lower fees, better rates, enhanced services. We still hold member service to the utmost highest level. We always say no members, no credit union. So membership requires some form of qualification in a, in a credit union, like being a part of a specific organi or organization or, or community, which uh, strengthens the sense of belonging and, and really a shared 
purpose. And at credit unions, the board of directors is elected by the members, by you. And members even have the opportunity to run for board positions. So this just really ensures that everyone has a voice in how the organization operates. So on the other hand, banks operate as for-profit institutions. They are owned by shareholders and any and all profits go to these shareholders rather than to the actual customer. Um, so while banks are open to anyone, customers generally don't have a say in how they operate like they do in a credit union. So decisions are made by those big stockholders and board members who actually get paid. And what is their focus? Because they get paid, it's going to be on profitability. Um, often resulting in higher fees, higher interest rates for customers to maximize those shareholders' returns. So in essence, credit unions prioritize their members' financial well-being always on, um, you know, while banks focus on generating profits. And this member-focused philosophy is one of the core aspects which make credit unions such an attractive option for many people. So the credit union difference, um, we build stronger relationships. We genuinely care about you. We genuinely care, genu genuinely care about our members. We are a trusted partner. We provide support resources through all life stages. We work hard to understand our members and, and know what kind of financial needs you have. We identify solutions to make your lives better and your communities better. So while every credit union has their own way of conducting business with their members, they all adhere to the principle, the mission of people helping people. Um, our founding principles guide how we operate and, and differentiates us from the rest of the financial industry. So as not-for-profit financial institutions, credit unions operate differently from banks. Um, members are not just customers. You are not a number. You are a name. And typically, if you call in, we know who you are before you ever say a word. Um, they are often, you know, owners with a say in the future of the credit union. And credit unions being not-for-profit status means the earnings are returned to benefits that all members want, need, and deserve. Um, and banks exist to make a profit for their shareholders. So the focus is um, on earning money from customers, not returning earnings to benefit customers. Big, big difference. So this slide really captures the tangible impact that credit unions have on their members and even the wider community. So across the country, credit unions collectively provide $25 billion $25 billion in annual financial benefits. So let's break it down where those savings come from. So members enjoy $13 billion in higher savings yields. That means more interest paid on their deposits, allowing them to grow their savings more effectively. We also see $1.5 billion saved through lower fees. Unlike many um, of the for-profit banks, credit unions focus on really minimizing fees for things like account maintenance, overdrafts. Um, on loan rates alone, members of a credit union save $10 billion. This includes everything from car loans to mortgages, offering substantial savings that add up over time. So finally, credit unions provide nearly 9.7 billion in direct savings to non-members. When credit unions set competitive rates and fees, it really influences the broader market, benefiting the financial landscape for everyone. So together, these benefits underscore the credit union commitment to financial wellness. We are all about our members being financially well. Um, putting uh, money back into the members' pockets and fostering a healthier financial ecosystem. This slide actually breaks down the savings impact that credit unions have on an individual and household level. So on average, each credit union member saves about 
$179 annually. When we look at households with, let's say they have multiple members in their family benefiting from credit union services, that savings grows to around $376 per household each year. And these savings come from a combination of lower loan rates, higher savings rates, um, and yields, and reduced fees. It's a tangible example of how credit unions put money back into the pockets of their members and support their financial well-being really on a daily basis. So the financial impact may seem small in individual amounts, but when you consider really the collective savings, this is across millions of members nationwide, it really does demonstrate the power of the credit union difference. Here we actually see a comparison of average loan rates between credit unions and traditional banks across a range of different financial products. So this chart actually highlights one of the most impactful ways that credit unions save members money over time. So starting with car loans, let's take a 60 month new car loan as an example. So as a credit um, union, the average rate is, we're going to say around 6.47%. Um, that's, that's pretty close compared to 7.44% at banks. For a $25,000 car loan, this difference in rate would save a member approximately $370 over the life of the loan. So now when we look at, let's look at credit card rates, for an example, the savings are even more striking for a platinum credit card. Credit unions offer an average rate of 12.9% while banks charge uh, clo actually over 18%. So for a balance of $5,000, this could mean a savings of over $250 in interest annually by choosing a credit union card. And you have to remember credit unions, cards, there's no um, uh, you know, balance transfer fee. There's no over the limit fee. There's no rate increase if you're late. Um, and most financial institutions, most um, credit card companies, even if you make your payment late, they raise your, your rate. So you can always trust a card at a credit union. So across other loan types, whether they're unsecured loans, whether they're mortgages, home equity loans, credit unions consistently offer lower rates than traditional banks. I mean, that we just do. And this commitment to affordable lending is at the core of the credit union philosophy, uh, putting financial wellness and member savings first. So um, let's look at how credit unions compare to traditional banks when it comes to savings um, rates. Credit unions offer significantly higher returns across different types of accounts, you know, helping you, the member, grow your savings more effectively over time. Uh, for example, credit unions offer an average rate of 2.19% on an IRA account compared to 0.94 at banks. And, you know, that's more than double the return for members who are saving for retirement. It matters. Looking at a one-year certificate, a CD with a $10,000 balance, credit unions provide a 3.56% return while banks average only 1.52%. So this difference allows credit union members to earn more on their savings with the same exact deposit. So, Let's look at money markets, across money market accounts, checking, regular savings, credit unions continue to offer better rates. In a money market account, um, for instance, members could earn 0.83% um, with a credit union versus 0.36 at a um, bank. So credit unions' um, commitment to financial wellness means really offering competitive savings rates that put more money back into members' pockets. That's what we're all about, helping you, our member, achieve their financial goals a lot faster. This is one of my favorite parts. So let's look at how credit unions and banks compare when it comes to fees. 
Um, this slide gives us a clear picture of the cost difference across several fee types. So for share draft checking accounts, banks typically charge around close to you know, $31, $32 for non-sufficient uh, funds, NSF fees or overdraft fees, while credit unions charge a bit less um, at about $28. Um, However, here at this credit union, I think we were one of the first financial institutions in the nation to completely eliminate NSF and overdraft fees. Now there is absolutely no fee whatsoever, um, thanks to our courtesy pay program, which we're going to discuss um, in a little bit. So um, that's huge. Um, please spread the word. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Um, that could save a lot of people a lot of money. We all make errors. Um, there's nothing any worse than, you know, um, being declined um, at the grocery store when you're in a long line with your groceries. Uh, with this program here at this credit union, you can be approved, have that peace of mind and never have a fee. Um, it's huge. So, you know, when it comes to uh, credit cards, late fees, I talked a little bit about this, um, average about uh, $24.56 uh, um, compared to over $34 at a bank. And these savings can make a real difference for members trying to manage their monthly expenses. And when it comes to closing costs, like on uh, loans, uh, credit unions consistently offer lower fees. We're always having promotions to help with those closing costs, um, which is something most of the time is not going to happen at a bank because they've got those stockholders to pay, remember. So providing significant savings on major financial decisions like you know, buying a home or refinancing your home, it truly matters. Don't, don't just go and apply for one, really do your homework and, and go with your trusted credit union. Um, credit unions are really structured to minimize costs for you, uh, which means again, fewer fees across the board and more money uh, staying in your pocket. So if banks operated like credit unions, the $1.4 trillion, let me read that again, $1.4 trillion paid to stockholders in the past decade could have been returned to account holders, which is approximately $140 billion annually. Um, that is just huge. You know, imagine if banks operated like credit unions, just think if, you know, over the past decade, banks had paid that money out to their customers versus their stockholders. Um, that's a lot of money. You know, that's approximately $140 billion each year that could have been shared with everyday banking customers benefiting their financial direction, um, their financial wellness directly. Um, this difference really emphasizes the core philosophy. I can't say it enough of credit unions. We, our mission is people helping people instead of prioritizing stockholders. You know, credit unions prioritize you. Um, we really do. Reinvesting profits to offer you better rates, lower fees, and personalized support. So let's talk a little bit about diversity and inclusion. Um, credit unions play a, real, a, a leading role in promoting diversity and inclusion in the financial world um, and industry. One way this commitment shows is through the significant presence of um, minority depository institutions, or we just say MDIs for short. So an MDI is a federally insured institution designed specifically to serve minority communities. And it qualifies as an MDI in two ways. Either 51% or more of its voting stock is owned by minority individuals or its board of directors is predominantly minority. And it serves as predominantly minority community. So with over 3.5 times as many MDIs as banks, credit unions actively work to ensure financial services reach everybody, every community equitably, creating pathways to financial stability for diverse populations. So additionally, 60% of credit union mortgage loans go to families making less than median 
income and credit unions have over 10 times as many women CEOs as banks. And these numbers highlight how credit unions put people at the heart of our mission, working uh, for uh, inclusivity and equal opportunity. Um, while every credit union has their own way of conducting business with their members, they all adhere to the principles of people helping people. It is our mission. It is um, our backbone. Um, it is why we do what we do. You know, we exist to promote the financial well-being of our member owners. We serve all members with equal dignity because every single member matters at a credit union. They do. They matter. So um, let's talk a little bit about how we got started. I love the history of our credit union. Um, we're going to shift to focus to our credit union's unique history and our ongoing commitment to our members. So our story begins way back on October 8th, 1935, during the height of the Great Depression. There were nine U.S. Senate employees who pulled their resources, totaling just $45 to establish the United States Senate Federal Credit Union. And I'm so thankful that they did. Um, their goal um, is no different than our goal is today. It's to create a financial organization that provided equal opportunity for everyone. Um, each organizer contributed, you know, there's no uh, cost of living. Um, there's no, um, you know, cost of living hike here. It was $5 back in 1935. And it's, nine, it's still $5 today in 2024. So to open an account, it is the same amount to this very day. So we actually started out of a single office, if you're familiar with DC at all, over at the US Capitol and the Russell Senate office building. And we experienced, remember this was back in 1935, we experienced decades of growth. We grew and grew um, during this time, we actually extended membership beyond the Senate community to include employees of AOC, which is the architect of the Capitol, the U.S. Supreme Court. These are their employees. Um, later, we added the U.S. Capitol Police and the Government Accountability Office, GAO. So by 1983, as our membership and services expanded, we were able to move into the newly constructed Hart Senate office building. And, you know, this was a significant milestone for us, symbolizing our commitment to growing with our members and, and really enhancing our ability to serve them. So over the years, we've continued to expand membership eligibility. Matter of fact, anyone can join our credit union because we wanted to serve a broader range of employment groups and people, all while maintaining our mission of providing financial security and empowerment. So how are we doing? We're doing great. Um, today, we proudly serve thousands of members nationwide. Our members don't like probably you on our webinar, don't live on Capitol Hill. They live all over the world and country, um, offering comprehensive suite of financial products. We're always trying to enhance our financial uh, products while staying true to the original vision of those nine founding members. Um, the legacy of growth and service is the foundation for the unique benefits we offer our members today. So let's take a, a closer look at how we support financial wellness, and how um, our members thrive. So no matter your path or how you came to the United States Senate Federal Credit Union, um, once you're a member, you're always a member. It doesn't matter if you, if you uh, move, if you leave your employer and that's how you qualified. Regardless of your change in location or employer status, we remain dedicated to helping you achieve your financial goals. So lifelong membership means that we will remain by your side through every, every stage of life. 
So this slide showcases, and I should have said it in the beginning, we are, if you didn't know this, we are um, a full financial institution. We can offer you anything and everything that a bank offers you just better. Um, we still hold member service to the utmost level. And this slide showcases the variety of savings products that we offer here at our credit union to help um, our members reach the financial, their financial goals. So let's go through each one um, very briefly. First, we have our primary savings account, which really is the foundation of membership. You have to have a savings with that $5. Um, for our younger members, we offer youth savings accounts. Again, we want to journey with you, with your children through every life stage. Um, this is to help uh, children and teens learn the importance of saving early on. Um, our money market accounts are a great option for members looking for a higher return with easy access. It is completely liquid to you whenever you need it and offers, you know, competitive rates that grow with your balance. The higher your balance grows, the higher the rate, um, the dividends that you could earn. And, you know, it's ideal for both short and long term saving goals. But keep in mind, we also offer um, share accounts and share accounts that's only I mean, share certificates, sorry, CDs, it only takes a $1,000 uh, minimum balance to open a CD and we offer anywhere from three months to five years. So again, um, including our bump certificates, you know, it gives you the opportunity to um, save your money and earn even more than you would in a money market account. So lastly, for those saving specifically for retirement, we do offer IRAs. We offer both Roth and traditional options. You can roll your, uh, let's say you have a 401k from a previous employee that's just been sitting there. You can roll that over into your US SFCU account and you can open a Roth or traditional IRA. And if any of you on this call has that, I am more than happy to help you with that process. Or if you have an IRA sitting somewhere else that just isn't earning as much as what we offer, again, um, I'll be more than happy to help you get those funds over to your United States Senate Federal Credit Union account. So each of these products is really tailored to meet diverse savings needs from basic accounts where the money stays liquid to you to really structured goal focused solutions. So reinforcing just our commitment to supporting our members financial well-being at every stage of life. We also have affordable um, borrowing. You know, we also provide um, affordable borrowing options with some of the lowest rates available. If you have a car loan right now anywhere else, um, I highly recommend that you call in and get a quote. And um, I can almost guarantee we're going to be able to save you some money. Um, so for personal loans, lines of credit, we offer flexible solutions for a variety of needs. Our uh, auto loans, I was just talking about, comes with competitive rates, saving you hundreds over the uh, loan term. We even give rate reductions if you set it up on auto transfer. Um, and with our credit cards, you get really low rates and there's no, I talked about this earlier, no balance transfer fees, um, helping you to pay down debt faster. We also offer mortgages. We offer first mortgages. We offer refinances. If you're purchasing a more, if you're purchasing your new home or want to refinance your, your home, everybody on this call probably knows that the Fed did uh, lower rates by a half a percent. So it's really a good time to review your portfolio and what you have. Um, and we also really care about um, education, you know, um, giving you financial education resources. Uh, we offer student loans, uh, refinances, make managing, um, you know, school cost more, more affordable because we all know that um, those costs are, are really, really high today. And then um, fee-free banking, we believe, we really truly believe in transparent fee-free banking, um, allowing you to keep more of what you earn. <clears throat> there are no hidden charges to surprise you on your statement each month. Um, we believe your money should stay in your account. Uh, thanks to our courtesy pay program we just talked about earlier, you won't be penalized for the occasional, you know, overdraft. Um, it's our way of supporting our members in times of need. Everything, um, you know, is 
so much higher today than it was a few years ago. Groceries, gas, um, and we want to make sure that we're supporting all of our members. Plus, you have free access to over 100,000 ATMs nat nationwide, saving you from those out-of-network fees. And I'm going to tell you, go to our website, go to About Us, look up uh, free ATMs. Um, they're in places like Walgreens, 7-Eleven. I mean, they literally could be right down the street from you. You can take your USSFCU debit card. And if you don't have one, call me. I'll get you one and um, take money out of the ATM with no fee at all. Um, these are just a few of the ways we help you, our members, save on fees, emphasizing our commitment to putting you first. We also care about the channel of communication you want, need, and deserve. You know, we've discussed uh, better loan rates, lower fees, but we know that true value, the true value also means being able to bank when, where, and how it works best for you. And that's why we offer a range of convenient access options, you know, allowing you to manage your finances anywhere, anytime. Whether, you know, you're in our area, you're stopping by one of our branches on Capitol Hill, or you're visiting other locations in the DMV metro area, we're here for you. We're here to serve you. And if you're traveling, you're never too far from service. There's over 5,000 shared branches across the country. You can actually plug in any zip code, and there's going to be other credit unions that you can go in to access your U.S. Senate Federal Credit Union account, um, you know it makes it seamless for you to be able to access your money. Um, our contact center team is uh, another vital part of the commitment to service, you know, staffed with uh, knowledgeable representatives. They're ready to assist you literally from beginning to end. Um, all you have to do is call and we're open over the phone 24 seven. So again, and you have that support, whether it's a loan, whether it's, you know, I need my balance. Um, we're going to pick up that phone. So for those who prefer digital banking, again, we want to give you the channel of communication you want, need, and deserve. Our secure online and mobile banking platform um, offers 24-7 access to you for your accounts with industry-leading uh, features. We also have our mobile app. You can actually take a picture of a check and deposit it to your account versus having to go in um, anywhere. Um, so if you ever need an ATM, USSFCU members have access to over 100,000 surcharge-free ATMs across the United States, ensuring you can access your funds without fees, no matter, no matter where you are. Most of you know, and if you don't, we actually partner with fellows. Um, we are dedicated to providing more than just financial products. We are committed to supporting your financial wellness journey in every area. So a key part of that commitment is giving you access to professional financial advisory services. And that's where Fellows comes in. So here we have Michael Schimmel. He is our trusted financial advisor from Fellows Financial Group. Um, Michael brings a wealth of expertise. He helps our members navigate essential areas of financial planning, really from things like goal-based financial strategies and investment services, advisory services to retirement planning, estate planning, legacy planning if you need it, and even small business planning. So whether you're looking to secure your financial future, optimize your investments, um, protect your legacy, we can absolutely get you in touch with Michael um, and he can help you through that financial journey. All you have to do is um, you can visit our uh, website um, or you can um, call us directly and we'll make an appointment for you. Um, we also partner with Green Path Financial Wellness. Um, members can take advantage of really a variety of services designed to help manage and improve financial health. This includes personalized financial counseling, debt management plans, credit report reviews. If you need, if you're not sure how to pull your free credit report and you really want to go over it, make sure everything on there is what you actually owe. Green Path can help you pull those credit reports and review them. Whether you're working towards, let's say you're going to be buying a house in the next six months or the next year. Um, now that is a, now is a great time for you to get with Green Path, have them look 
over your credit and get your credit exactly where it needs to be for you to get the absolute best rate. So Green Pass Certified Financial Counselors, they're here to guide you with step-by-step -step support, action plans, tailor to your goals. They really are, they're a phenomenal uh, group. And I said it before, I'm going to save it again, say it again. We truly care about giving you um, financial education through our best life tab. So if you go to our website, the very last tab to the right, it's called best life. Click on that. Um, there's all kinds of online financial education platforms. You can explore um, guidance for major life decisions like buying a car or a home. Let's say you have a, a child, a son or a daughter who is finally at the age where they're going to buy their own car. Highly recommend that you have them look at this site on buying a car or even a new home or saving for college, planning for retirement. You can never plan that too early. Um, we also cover everyday essentials like understanding your credit, you know, what goes into your FICO score and managing family finances, uh, doing a, a, a budget and just really investing um, wisely. And then community support is so important to our credit union. So here at our credit union, community involvement is that if truly at the heart of who we are. So throughout the year, as you can see in these pictures, these are live pictures. This is lots of pictures of us. Um, even on this call, we participate in and support a variety of local events and initiatives that make meaningful impact, you know, from volunteer days to charity fundraiser and educational workshops. Our goal is always to give back and strengthen our communities that we serve. And these efforts not only reflect our values, but also create opportunities for members and staff to engage, connect, and support causes that truly make a difference. And it's important that we don't just, you know, uh, walk the walk, that we talk the talk. And if we do that, our members are going to let us know. So as you can see in front of you, these are member voice testimonials. If you want to go to our website and go to members voice testimonials, please do that. Give us some feedback on these webinars. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what your financial needs are. And if there's a product, a service that we're not offering that could really impact your financial journey, we want to know. So I'm just going to read a couple of these. So David in Silver Spring, Maryland said, as a member for more than 40 years, I have always had great service from the USS FCU and know that they stand behind their great reputation. Um, uh, Tamara in Denver, Colorado. I have been a member for more than 30 years. I no longer reside in the DC area, but continue to bank with USS, USS FCU because of the ease and the customer service. Um, John in Fort Washington, Maryland. I have been a member for over 50 years and I've always gotten good service. The personnel have always been friendly and treated me with respect. And then we have Misty in Brookings, Oregon. People and products are amazing. The recent online banking overhaul is phenomenal. USS FCU is light years ahead of everyone else in terms of ease of use and client experience. So this is what we are all about. It is all about you. And we want your experience to be the absolute best. Um, I just want to say that we are going to have uh, we're going to answer all of your questions. If you have any, we're going to do that live. And then we're going to have that drawing. And I want to say good luck to all of you, but I want to know, want you to know that you are all winners. You are winners because you're a member of a credit union. And I don't just say that because it's our credit union, really, truly, um, credit unions make a difference in the lives of others. And we, as in, and as employees, when we lay our heads down at night, we can go to bed knowing that we did something good for others. So I just want to say thank you. It's been an honor, a pleasure um, presenting this to you. It is my heart, my soul, my passion. And if you have any questions tomorrow, two weeks from now, two years from now, um, feel free to give me a call. All right, Cam. Thank you so much. What a wonderful presentation. Uh, most important, uh, as as we said at the beginning, you know, this is this is this is why we do 
uh, what we do for 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 our members. And um, and and I think one of the uh, one of the, the points that Ken made that there's there's no credit union with without you. So thank you all for being part of this um, of, of this ex exciting webinar. In my opinion, one of the best ones, and it's in line with what what we stand um, what we're all about, right? People helping people, and as and as Kim uh, uh, mentioned in multiple of the slides, you know, uh, we really really uh, are are different. You know, we are not about profits. Um, and we truly care about our members and uh, we always try to go above and beyond and, and we don't just do the, the talk, but we also uh, do the walk as well too. So thank you all. Um, and I see that we have a lot of questions in there. So uh, Eddie and, and Andrea, uh, we'll, we'll pass it over to you. And then right after that, or right after we answer every question, um, don't, 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 don't leave, stay, stay tuned um, because we, um, uh, Eddie has been putting so many hours, extra hours, the last few weeks um, that he told us, you know what, I got, I mean, like I think he said he had about 40 hours of overtime. So that's how dedicated he is to to the team. And and he said he had about extra extra hundred bucks in his pocket that he wanted to share with it with it with everyone here. So uh, Eddie, take please, it away. please take that a hundred dollars and out of my pocket. Uh, but yeah, please take advantage, you know. And uh, thank you, Kim, for that amazing presentation. Kerry, thank you for all that great content as well. And as you saw in the pictures, it's just people helping people. You're, you know, you're regular people, we're regular people. The struggles that you might be going through financially or the challenges or the goals that you have in mind is things that probably we're going through or that we have experience on. So, you know, please let us help you, you know, whether you want to get that new home, whether you're getting married and you need some money for that, you know, the bling bling, you know. Whether it's, you know, you taking, you know, a new course in college or you want to repay your student loans, anything that you can think of, we want to make sure that you are successful. And I see a lot of testimonies on the in the comments area in the chat as well. Uh, I know Andrea would be reading those. So, Andrea, please let us start with the first question. Yeah. So before I start off with the question, I did see one uh, testimony to USFCU that I read and loved it said i checked with five different credit five different lenders for my home mortgage and usfcu blew the f other four out of the water kim ta is fantastic love to hear it um and then another one was likewise during our closing session the title rep did a double take and stopped her spiel to say wow you got a you got really great great so we love to hear that coming from our members and whatnot. So we're going to go straight into the questions because we have a lot of questions. Um, so the first one I see is, should I chat with a green path rep or green path before speaking with USFCU about student loan consultation? I would say absolutely. If you feel that you need to have a review of where you are now, Green Path is perfect to do that and can even guide you as to where you're going to be in that student loan process. So yes, um, that's a that's a, a great way to start um, before you need that student loan. Absolutely. Great question. And another question we have here is, did credit unions in other countries develop, develop before U.S. or later or around the same time? Was another country a model for us? So I love this question. Oh, yep. go ahead, Milton. No, go ahead. Okay. No, no, I'll go ahead. You, you got it. You got it. I mean, I'll, I'll let you go. But I, I, it just shows how passionate we are about, about, about credit unions. Uh, but uh, to answer the question, you know, um, actually, believe it or not, uh, credit unions started back in the 1800s. Uh, and it was started in Europe, uh, more specific Germany. Germany was the first country that uh, that established uh, the first credit union model. Um, and, and ever since, you know, everyone kind of like uh, started uh, copying the model. And uh, and 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 I think Kim. I mean, Kim, you, you can go in and tell and tell them uh, when uh, the first credit union and what state it was open once once we created it here in the U.S. <laughs> You nailed the answer. So yes, back in the 1890s, you know, they were called cooperatives. And that's just like we explained in the example um, where people pulled their monies together to get things that they needed. Um, they didn't have um, any type of way to um, borrow 
So they borrowed from each other. And I think that is just such a cool beginning and, 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 you know, the root of how we got started. So excellent. Great. I love these questions. And it's interesting how it started back in the 1800s in another country, and it was people trying to help people. And Kim emphasized that in her presentation that up to this day, but right now in 2024, the United States and the federal Korean is just people helping people. So it's it's interesting how throughout the years, you know, we haven't lost our identity. We're still helping people to make sure they're financially successful. So Milton, great job. I, I'm sure you use that IT, uh, you know, feature that we have, you know, in home. But I appreciate your knowledge. So our next question is one reason I have not moved my direct deposit check from U.S. government and my husband's federal retirement direct deposit from Wells Fargo to USFCU is because I like having two checking accounts as at Wells Fargo. One direct deposit goes into one account and the other deposit goes into the second account. I only write checks off off of one account. The other is where my auto payments are made from. I always thought that this setup would not be possible at USFCU. Am I wrong? Wow. Um, I'd love to take that one, Kim, if you don't mind. Yeah, go on it, Milton. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but again, it's an excellent question. And, uh, and and the best, the easiest way for us to answer is that, um, believe it or not, you can do the same thing with us. Uh, you can actually have multiple checking accounts, um, and and uh, we, we, you know, you'll you'll be you'll have the power to 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 put a nickname on them if you want. Um, I mean, that's something that actually I do myself. Uh, I actually have uh, multiple checking accounts because just like you, I like to have uh, uh, you know accounts for certain certain things. Uh, so you know, such as my my uh, um, uh, the account where I, I pay all my utilities. Um, and any 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 expenses, pretty much, you know, that would be my 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 account, uh, the main account, and then I have another one uh, where I would buy stuff for my babies. So um, again, you can have multiple accounts here with us as well, and then for your direct deposit, um, we will give you different forms, and then so that you can have uh, multiple uh, uh, direct deposits coming in to your to your credit union, but they will be they will be split split uh, between the accounts that you choose. So um, and. I don't know about uh, you mentioned checks, and uh, uh, I mean Kim. I'll, I'll let you continue with that with that answer if you don't mind. Thank you so much. We'll even give you free checks. All right. With a checking account that you are going to be using to write checks off of, um, free checks. Each checking account has its own uh, identifying micker line, so there will be no confusion. Um, absolutely, we can we can do that for you. Thank you so much, Kim and Milton. And I think we have two more questions left. So is your contact center staffed 24 seven or does the credit union or does your credit card fraud alert work 24 seven? Yes and yes. So um, anytime you call our 800 or 202 number um, 24 seven, we will answer the telephone. Um, the card should have your card should have an 800 number on the back of it and you should be able to get through to that uh phone number 24 7. if you can't if something happens that um you can't get through you can still call us and we can help you to get through to them so absolutely it used to be that when we um, closed at five o'clock we were closed and you could not get in touch with us until we opened at 8 30 the next morning, Monday through Friday. Now it is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yes, and also with with along with the credit cards as well, uh, we do have a 24 seven uh, uh, fraud alert. So um, if there's at any point, there's something you know that looks funky, uh, you will get an alert from us. Um, make sure that you do sign up for alerts. That's something that we highly recommend, but, but yeah, well, we are always 24 seven um, you know, looking up for you. And if you need us, give us a call. Uh, that one eight hundred number. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's the best it's the best way to uh, get a hold of us. And uh, they will you will be you'll you'll always be able to talk to a live person. So, thank you, Kim. You can also uh, 
turn your card on and off and control it through online banking too, if that ever helps, you know, turn it on, turn it off, think I lost it, you know, report it stolen online, that kind of stuff as well. Yeah, card control, card, card control is a beautiful feature that we offer, um, set a spending limits, you name it. I mean, you you, you name it, whatever you want to do, whatever you, whatever you can think of, um, it's, it's, we have it, we have all those, all the tools and, and, and uh, you know, I think I, I saw a comment there that, that there, there were certain things that, that Kim uh, mentioned that highlighted as far, you know, as far as some of the uh, um, uh, some of the services that we provide. And a lot of people, a lot of our members, um, you know, might not, uh, might not not have that knowledge, but uh, believe it or not, so we do. We are we're trying to be up there. Uh, we know, um, you know, especially nowadays, it's it's fraud is one one of those things that are, that it's always on top of everyone's mind, and so we we do our best to try to protect protect you um, and and your accounts here at the credit union. So we have all the tools for you. So if you haven't given us the opportunity, this this is this is the right time to do so. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and also before I forget as well too, and I, I, I'm sure Kim also talked about it. But um, uh, in celebration of our 89th birthday, which which just just what what, what a, a week a week and a half ago, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we are uh, giving away $89. If you refer anyone, so if you have any family, friends, anyone that you want to refer over, um, this is your chance to uh, make an easy 89 bucks. The holiday season is around the corner, um, so if you have two or three referrals, you probably may your you know might have a, a nice uh, a nice, enough money from us. Uh, to buy your uh, your Christmas presents, and uh, once you refer a person, um, you'll get eighty nine. They'll get eighty nine bucks in about what? What's the time frame, Carrie or Andrea? If you guys want to uh, let everyone know, between October first and October thirty first. And how soon after will they will they get oh, the deposit? Wait, sorry, within thirty to sixty days after the new member completes those steps, it'll be directly deposited into your primary savings account. So that means if you if if you refer someone tomorrow. Tomorrow is the uh, what the eighteen. Um, by the end of November, early December, that money will be hitting in your account. So again, as I stated, perfect timing for uh, for you to go shopping on us. So, um, and as you can see, all of our products and services that we offer here at the Credit Union, they are outstanding. Um, and this is from a person that I work at uh, about six different other financial institutions, um, and this is where I feel like home, and mainly because of the products. That uh, that we have to offer here, um, and and as you can see, we don't we, we don't try to sell the products. It's the product sells itself, um, just because they're just that's how great they are. So again, uh, um, uh, don't miss out. Uh, we're always you know always looking for ways to uh, get back to uh, to our members, and this is this is this is actually uh, one of one, one of those ways. So thank you, um, and Andrea, I believe you said you have one more question for us. Now we have two more questions. Um, so. The first question I'm going to ask is, do you advise money market or CDs? That's that's an excellent question. Um, and 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 uh, and, and I, I, I hate that uh, the answer that I'm going to give you is going to be another question. But uh, 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 the, 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 best, the best way for me to put it would be um, uh, what what is your what is your goal? Uh, do you have anything in mind? Um, you know, it's, 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 it's the money that you're looking to put to, to, to work for you. Is it something that you want to have, um, in a liquid account, account where you'll be able to access it at any point in, in, in the event of an emergency? Um, uh, or if you have a, uh, a, something already, you know, in mind as to, you know, what you want to use the money for and you don't, you don't plan on using it for an extended period of time, uh, such as three months, six, nine, 12, two years, three, five, I mean, depends. Um, then a, a CD account might be the best option for you. So it all depends on on your situation, um, and uh, and where you are in life. So again, if if it's more of a uh, I I want to set this money aside and I want to have it in case of emergencies, or I have this money aside that I'm I'm not going to need until you know two years or uh, nine months, whatever the time frame is, then uh, we, you know we will make the recommendation. But give us a call the one 2758 and press option seven. You can say the beautiful name of Kim, or you can actually say my name, Milton, um, and then uh, you will be connected directly to us, and then we'll be more than, more than more than happy to more you know talk to you more in details and 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 and, and kind of uh, um, you know uh, be able to uh, make a, a better recommendation for you. But but again, um, you know it all depends. Uh, but now, uh, and and I'm sorry that I'm making this this answer a little longer than, than I wanted it to. But uh, but but with it as well too. 
uh, just know that there, that there will be a difference in in the in the interest rate that you'll be that you'll be getting paid. Um, a CD will uh, or or a share certificate will definitely pay you a, a little higher interest rate. Uh, and the money market will be a little less. But then again, the reason being it's is the money market will give you the flexibility for you to draw on it at any time without being penalized. So that's the difference between the two. Thank you. Thank you so much, Milton. And before I read the last question, I just saw this um, comment. Uh, shout out to Tammy for her support and professionalism. She is amazing and warm, very person and very personable. We love to hear this. And yes. that's Tammy in our member business department. So she's wonderful. Thank you. She is. And, and all the comments we run and tell them. So we're going to share them <laughs> with them because we're excited to say, hey, guess what somebody said? <laughs> <laughs> and our last question is, do you charge international transaction fees on your debit card, um, in parentheses, checking account or, or on credit card transactions? I'm happy to take that. So it's actually not a credit union fee. It is a visa fee and it's 2%. So that is just when you use your card internationally. Thank you so much. Those are all the questions I believe, unless I'm missing any. Awesome. So